Alright, so it's 8 5 in the morning. We're on our way to Paynton. I love Paynton. I really hope that we get to go out and see it. I mean, I'm going to show you the, the old house I used to live in and take you on a trip that I used to walk as a child to school. I like to kind of include stuff like that in my vlog so I can kind of look back and watch it whenever I want to remember the old days. The house we're going to show you is the house that I moved into when I was adopted, me and my brother John. We were both adopted uh, from families in Plymouth. So we do that and we meet up with John and Jess and we maybe go to the park um, and we go have some lunch and then we do the arcades or something like that and then we're going to come back on the train. Okay, Lucy, so I'm going to take you this. I haven't done this walk since I was a little child, so I'm going to try and remember exactly how to get to my old house. Hello, my name's Peter Butler. It starts off down this road, Jenny. Are you ready? Yeah, I can't wait. It's like visiting a film set. This is just my memories from being a kid. It's like an old set to a movie that, yeah, that I lived. It's, it's, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. This, yeah used to be the video shop and um, we used to go in there they used to have all the videos on the wall like uh, you can't see in there they'd have all the big video tapes and now uh, we'd pick some what did we i used to pick a lot of thomas the tank videos from here and over there that used to be a barber's it where still barber's. it still is a barber's and that used to be where we got a haircut and you know what it doesn't look like it's any different from when when i was a kid that's exactly how i remember it sitting in that chair and Dad was sat on the chairs there, and I think the prices are the same. <laughs> oh no. So the reason I'm saying oh no is because one of these houses used to be the sweet shop. And I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was that one. This, this probably was always like a little convenience store. I do remember there was this one time I was with dad right and we were about to cross over to get something um, and I remember a man on a motorized push chair was kind of driving along that bit and it fell over I remember my dad rushed over to pick it up for him mm -hmm. and, and helping him out anyway to get to my house we have to go up York Road this is a road that my dad used to carry me and John up on his shoulders we were obviously small kids back then bag of flour each, possibly. Well, no, I think I've got a bit more than that. How old are you? Five? Yeah. I'll see that as a kid, these rows just look so much bigger. But now as an adult, it's all just really small. All right, so that road over there is the road. I think it's quite amazing, really, that I mean, I know how to look on Google Maps to get here, but once I'm here, I kind of feel like I know my way around a bit. Alstair Road, again, like as a kid. It seemed like the steepest hill in the world. Where's that one? The number. I think it was this one. I think this was the house. It's for sale. We could buy it. This is it. 25. So you don't want to stand in front of someone's house and film it, but yeah, there we go. That was the house I grew up in. And it's for sale. I'm going to look it up and find out how much it's worth. So that room just there, that was my window. Well, I used to go to bed about six or seven. And I used to look out that window over here. And at night, you could see like talking, you could see all the lights. And I used to just love that. I'll probably never come here again, but I'm glad I've got it on film. It's like, it's lovely. All right, so there we go, old house, goodbye.
Now we're gonna walk to my school. I'm soaking, I'm an idiot for not getting an umbrella. Cross over. Down the end here, there'd be like a little cut through that we would go down. Public footpaths are hardly rude. Oh my God. A, yeah, this is it. I wonder if we see any robins today, I doubt it. But sometimes of the year they just used to be full of leaves and I'd be kicking the leaves as I went to school. It's quite nice to go back and just retrace some of your history. Let's rewalk the routes you went when you was a child. Okay. So we come to the end. And we'd cross over here to that road over there. Sometimes as a kid I'd walk down here and one of my friends from school would be driving down here with his mum in the car and I used to sprint it and try and beat him to the end of the street. Sometimes I'd win. I think they let me. I don't think a five-year-old child could outrun a car. Pretty sure that grey car over there was uh, also there when I was a child. Here we go, this was my first uh, school. It's amazing how things just seem different when you're a kid. Isn't that, but, yeah. well, you're not really paying attention, are you, when you're a kid? Right. It has changed. This wall is new because um, this wall wasn't always here. There was a time when I was a kid, Lucy, I've got to confess. They did have like a big gate. And I wonder if it's this one down here. It was something like that. And there was a big gate and it used to swing out and in. And I remember there was a kid who I didn't like. And he was sat on the gate and I pushed it and he fell off and hurt himself and started crying. You horrible little shit bag. I was a bag and I got in trouble for it. You should have. Well, it still sits with you, so obviously. Yeah, all the bad things I've done sit with me. All right. You haven't done that many bad things. I'm gonna go now. I look dodgy as hell filming a school. Yeah, you do. Uh, please, Simon's probably Plus the CCTV as well. <laughs> you alright? How do you feel? Nostalgic, man. Nostalgic. <laughs> Peter! Okay, so this is kind of where I'm going to meet John and Jeff, um, but I'm going to nip in and get an umbrella first. We're big fans of sports, I reckon. I might lose quite a big one here. Oh my god, it was, it was four pounds, not six pounds. Let's go, it would be unfair to keep him waiting outside for us. Oh, there he is. Hey. Where would you like, where should we go? Do you want to go to the arcade? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh wow! Awesome. You come in immediately met by Gru. <laughs> Is that like the crystal maze or something? Are you getting in, John? I know what to do. What, what's she gonna do? Put him in the hole. Go on, Jess, put him in the hole. Tickets. I think we've got more on the piano. We got about 50 tickets, haven't we? I got 50 and you got about 46, I think. Yeah, it looks like a goldfish pooing. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> right, 
surprise every time. Oh yeah, what well, these little guffy ones. Five pound of play though. Jesus oh, Christ. Okay. <laughs> are you having a laugh? I like these bears. Bad manner bears. What are they saying? Bears? You can't get that a bear. That one one's says wanker. Bear. <laughs> bear. 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 Screw you. <laughs> you can't get one of them. I want to get the wanker bear. Thank you. <laughs> Get the bear. We've picked them about a thousand times. It's under his arm, it's under his arm. Yes. <laughs> Lucy won it. Well done, Lucy. Well worth the seven pounds we spent on it. It's perfect yeah. for you. It's really soft. Oh. Congratulations. Okay, so we're off to the paint and pier now. Well, they've got on the pier, they got 10 P ones. Yeah, they do. Oh, they? oh so yeah. you more chance. Yeah. 10 goes for a quid. We're going, we're going back now. Back to the land of Exeter. Goodbye, Pinkton. <laughs> <laughs> 